Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be debuting the latest sheet load of cards which is the March 2020 edition. I'm also going to be letting you know more about my collaboration team that is starting this month. I hope you'll stick around, find out how you can download this file for free and see the cards I made. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to Sheet Load, I'll tell you just a little bit about it before I get to all of the good details that you came for. Each month I put out a free printable for my subscribers that lets you know how you can reproduce the sketch for the month quickly and easily, usually yielding anywhere from 6 to 12 cards each month. I always like to, when I find a sketch, I like to figure out how I can make the most of my paper and then go ahead and create some extra so I have a card when I need it. Here is a look at page one of the file for this month. Unfortunately for my page two, I did have to print it out in black and white because I ran out of color ink, but this just shows you that you do not have to have a color printer to be able to take advantage of the sheet load. You can always use this in black and white. Something you might notice that is new for this month is up in the top right, I have added some hashtags to the file. This was a subscriber request and I thought it was a great idea, so I'm going to start incorporating that from here on out. You know that each month you can show us your sheet load or share with us cards that you have made using the sheet load of cards. And usually on screen or in the description of my videos, I will share with you the two hashtags to use so I can come and find your YouTube video or your Instagram photo. But starting this month, I am going to be adding them to the printable as well. So if you would like to create cards and share them with my viewers and myself and my collaborators, this month you're going to make sure to use the hashtags, hashtag S-U-Y-S-M-A-R 2020 and hashtag show us your sheet load. That way I can just do a search here or on Instagram and see what you have created. Now for more details on how to share your sheet load with us, including a way that you can send them in for me to share on an end of the month video, I do have that video linked in the description box below. If you do have any questions on that, make sure to leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. The first page of each month's file gives you the sketch and supply list. You're always going to see what the card will look like and then each of the papers or card stocks is labeled. The first thing are the supplies needed. This month you need three 12 by 12 pattern papers, three eight and a half by 11 solid card stocks for the mats, and then you'll have five solid card stocks to cut and fold in half for your card bases. Now this month you only yield nine cards. You will have 10 card bases when you're done here, so just save that extra one for a future card. As always, if you do not want to make eight or more cards, I always give the dimensions for each of the pieces. One thing that you'll wanna keep in mind for this month is that you will adhere PPC or pattern paper PC to CS3 before you put it on the card and trim it down. So if you're gonna go ahead and get started on your cards today before I come back tomorrow with my process video, just keep that in mind to read the little note over here so that you end up with it looking like this and everything's aligned and fills the card up. I also like to give some alternative ideas or kind of ways that you can make the sketch or the layout your own. Some ideas for this month are to adjust the size of your image or sentiment square to fit your stamp. And you'll see on my cards later that I did rotate this actually because my stamp didn't fit when it was sitting portrait. You can add embellishments or die cuts to the front of the card. Rotate or flip the sketch. You could always use foam tape on some of the pieces for added dimension. And this month you are left with quite a few pattern paper scraps. You could cut strips of that and add some of that to the inside of your card for a little extra decoration. 
The second page of the file each month has the cutting guides. I tell you exactly how to cut each piece so that you can recreate and get the amount of cards that are yielded for the month. You'll see here all of the pattern papers are cut to the same size and then they are split up into three different size pieces and then you'll just mix and match those on your card front. Again, I'll be back tomorrow with a process video that will help you or give you some tips on how you can mix and match those so that you have different patterns on each of your cards. Before I let you know how you can download the file for free, I want to share with you a look at the products I used, and then I'm going to share with you a close-up look at each of the cards and show you how I adjusted them a little bit this month. For the sentiments on this month's card, I used the Most Beauty stamp set from Reverse Confetti. I just love this set. I think it's super versatile. There's lots of sayings for different occasions. Now my stamp set has been well loved and it is a little bit stained. So here on the screen, I'll share with you a close up of what this stamp set says. To stamp this onto my cards, I used some Gina K Designs ink, and you'll see tomorrow that I got out two different colored blues, and then I tested each of those to see which I liked better with my pattern papers, and I have to tell you, either one of these would work. I got out blue denim and powder blue, and I ended up using the blue denim. I have to say that one of my best investments lately in the crafting world has been to buy all of the little Gina K Designs ink cubes. I made myself a little swatch guide of all the colors I bought, and it is so easy now. I usually have an ink color that matches pattern papers I have. Speaking of pattern papers, the ones I used this month came from Echo Park Papers January 2020 kit. I ordered it because I thought it was a great deal and it came with full 12 by 12 double-sided pattern papers, sticker sheets, stencils, stamps, embellishments, washi tape. It was a great deal. I'll see if it's still available and if so I'll link it below but I do know that they're coming out with a new one so you might want to check that out and see if you want to purchase it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at each of the cards I created. You may have noticed that none of my cards really looks exactly the same because of how I mixed and matched the papers, the fact that I chose different sentiments, and then sometimes even how I placed different pieces on the card. On the left, I left my sentiment where it was on the original sketch, but instead of angling my pattern paper strip this way, I angled it backward. And then the one on the right, I left the angle of the strip the same but I place my sentiment to the left. You can always adjust this whatever looks best to you. And now I'm gonna tell you how you can download the file for free if you are a subscriber to my channel. Now, like I say every month, I don't check up on you or follow up or make you email me and verify that you're a subscriber to download the file. We just go on the honor system. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you're going to download the file. In the very bottom of my description box is a link to this file. You can open it and just view it on screen, or you can download and print it so you have a hard copy to follow as you create. Don't forget, if you're gonna share your creations with us, make sure to use the two hashtags provided. If you're looking forward to creating cards of your own or you enjoyed my video today, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to come back tomorrow so you can be linked to all of the collaborators to see what they created for the month and then I will have my process video ready for you to view. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.